Hi everyone, for this tutorial I will show you how to decorate a vintage poinsettia spray and antique violin cookies. Begin by icing a round plat cookie with cream flood consistency icing and a tip number two. Use the scribe needle to evenly distribute the icing. Allow the cookie to dry for 12 hours. Stamp the cookie with a musical note stamp and then transfer your design. Now with stiff consistency icing and a PME tip 1.5, pipe all of the back leaves, acorns, bracts, and hollies. Now start piping the red bracts keeping the shape of the circle of the design. Continue to pipe the poinsettias to the center. Once you get to the center of the poinsettia, pipe the flowers of the poinsettia. Make sure to keep that center a little higher. Now it's time to paint. Start by painting the back petals first. The holly leaves should be the darkest green. Paint the red bracts of your poinsettia. Continue to work your way around. Pipe the center blossoms of the poinsettia with light green and yellow. Paint a few pine needles around your spray. For the acorn, use a light wash of ivory and then dark brown to add in the scales. Finally, paint in some holly berries for a festive touch. With an edible black marker, draw the scrolls to the violin and then pipe in the fingerboard of the violin with black blood consistency icing. Now ice the rest of the violin with ivory blood consistency icing. Use your scribe needle to evenly distribute the icing and allow your cookie to dry four to six hours. Using stiff consistency icing, attach the bridge of the violin. Then pipe the chin rest and the tall piece. Pipe the pegs and nuts to the violin. Allow the cookie to dry for about 20 minutes. To paint the violin, start with an ivory white wash and paint the entire violin. Allow each layer of color to dry for 10 minutes. The next layer you're going to paint is chestnut. And finally brown. Using black food gel, paint the tall piece, the chin rest, the pegs, and the nuts.
paint the E Turner dark silver. Now pipe your strings with soft consistency icing from the top of where the peg and nuts are to just below the silver piece. Be mindful that the strings do not overlap one another and stay on the black portion of the violin. Thank you everyone for watching me 